Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, my lovely students. Today, inshallah, I will teach you super goal four for the second intermediate grade in the second semester. So, open your book first of all on page 51. Today, inshallah, we will take listening. Listen to the message from Jason's telephone answering machine. Match each person with his message. So we have a here four person or four sorry four people as you can see. Um, we have their messages. So we will listen. We have a Jim and John and Charles. Um, we have a here some messages. Let's read them. This person wants Jason to pick him up at eight a.m. This person asks to borrow Jason's brother's volleyball net. This person tells Jason to bring mask and flippers. This person asks Johnson to bring snacks. So now I will turn on the audio. I want you to listen and to match the uh, each person with his message according to the audio. Page 51. Four. Listening. Listen to the messages from Jason's telephone answering machine. Match each person with his message. One, Jim. Jason, this is Jim. I've already bought some refreshments. Will you buy a few snacks and bring them tomorrow? Thanks. Two, Andy. Hi, Jason. This is Andy. Can you pick me up at my house at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning? My address is 27 Park Drive. It's easy to find. Just go south on Main Street. When you get to the lights, turn right onto 10th Avenue. Park Drive is the second street on the left. Mind the blue house on the right-hand side. You can't miss it. 3. John Jason, this is John. I can't find my volleyball net. Could you please ask your brother to lend us his? Could you bring it with you tomorrow? 4. Charles Jason, this is Charles. You have some extra snorkeling gear, right? Please bring another pair of flippers to the beach tomorrow. And would you bring an extra mask too? Mine is broken. Okay, my lovely students, so the answers will be, as you can see, Jim D. So he asks for snacks, and it will be A. So uh, she asks to pick, uh, to pick him up, sorry, it's a boy. John asks about P, volleyball net, and Charles asks... Uh, asks us about C to bring mask and flowers. Then let's now move here to conversation. As you can see in front of you, we have a here conversation between, as, as I think, between two people, right? Two people. Look what do we have a here. Two people. Oh, okay, maybe three, as you can see. Three people. So we have a here blue phrases blue phrases how many we have a two with their meanings and we have a here three questions okay my lovely students now i will turn on the audio for this conversation i want you to listen and follow so are you ready very good so let's start page 52 6 conversation Sultan, will you do me a favor? Sure. What do you want me to do? If Fod calls, tell him I'm not at home. He always wants help with his homework. Okay, no problem. <phone rings> Hello, this is Fod. May I speak to Ali? Hi, Fod. My brother's not here. Ah, uh, that's too bad. What time will he be back? I have no idea. Did you try his cell phone? Yes, I did, but he doesn't answer. Can I take a message? Yes. Please tell him I got free tickets for the football game tonight. You are ending. What does Sultan say? 
One, could I come with you in his place? Two, I'll tell Ali to call you when he gets home. Three, can you get me a free ticket too? Okay, my lovely students, would you do me a favor? Will you uh will you help me with something? So if someone asks you this question, will you do me a favor? He asks uh, you for helping, okay, for for help. So I have no idea. It means I don't know. I don't know, okay. Now look what do we have for here. What does uh, Ali want Sultan to do? So, as you can see here, if I had calls, tell him I'm not home. He always wants help with his homework. So, Ali wants Sultan to tell Fahad that he is not home if Fahad calls. Number two, what is Fahad calling about? So, what do you think? As you can see here, um, uh, as you can see here, please tell him I got the free tickets for a football game. So he is calling to tell uh, Ali uh, uh, that he has a free tickets to football game. Okay, look what do we have here. What does he want Sultan to do? Okay, he as you can see here, he wants Sultan to tell Ali about the free tickets. Okay, please tell him. Tell him. So to tell Ali about the free tickets. Then let's now move here. As you can see, after that we will take a reading. As you can see here, a uh, uh, um, reading. Okay. So before reading, when do people usually write messages or leave notes? When? Um, as I think, if they have something to share. Yeah. Look what do we have here? We have here. Um. Uh, as we can see, an old woman, uh, he, uh, she is writing a message, as you can see her. Look what do we have here, the daughter. Uh, this is a message, right? This is a message. It is written uh, to Farah, as you can see. How many paragraphs we have? One, two, three, four, maybe four paragraphs, okay? After reading, we have here how many questions? One, two, three, four, five. We have here five questions. So we don't know what is this message talking about. So I will turn now the audio for this message. I want you to listen and follow it along as you listen. So are you ready? Very good. So let's start. Okay, my lovely students, what is the emergency? So, as you can see, the grandmother fell down uh, the stairs and she is in the hospital. Look here. Uh, he, uh, the mom asks his daughter for a big river. Why? Because the grandmother fell down the stairs and 
uh, she is in the hospital. This is the emergency. What is Hamid going to do? Hamid is going to drive, as you can see here. Your brother is going to drive me there as soon as he gets home. So, um, yeah, to the hospital. Now, but what does the mother want Farah to do? Actually, she wants her to do a lot of things, as you can see here. She, she wants Farah to make dinner, watch Hamid's football uniform, and iron her father's clothes. Now, but why can't Hamid watch his uniform, as you can see here? His team, he can't because he is taking me. So he is driving. So because he's taking me to the hospital. Because he's taking his mother to her hospital. Why should Farah's younger brother and sister do? They should help Farah wash up. And they should do all their homework. And if Farah needs help, her father will do that. Okay. Then let's now move here. To writing as you can see in the front of you after that we have a here writing listen to the Johnson message from page 51 again write a short note for each message only include the necessary information the first one is done as uh, as an example okay my lovely students now I will turn on the mess uh, the audio so I want you to listen and to write some uh, notes okay to write some notes about each person so we have four person we have a Jason we have a Andy or uh, we have a Charles um, we have a John so how many messages we have we have a four messages so now i will turn on the audio i want you to listen and to write down the messages page 51 five pronunciation listen page 51 four listening listen to the messages from jason's telephone answering machine Match each person with his message. One, Jim. Jason, this is Jim. I've already bought some refreshments. Will you buy a few snacks and bring them tomorrow? Thanks. Two, Andy. Hi, Jason. This is Andy. Can you pick me up at my house at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning? My address is 27 Park Drive. It's easy to find. Just go south on Main Street. When you get to the lights, turn right onto 10th Avenue. Park Drive is the second street on the left. Mine's the blue house on the right-hand side. You can't miss it. Three, John. Jason, this is John. I can't find my volleyball net. Could you please ask your brother to lend us his? Could you bring it with you tomorrow? Four, Charles. Jason, this is Charles. You have some extra snorkeling gear, right? Please bring another pair of flippers to the beach tomorrow. And would you bring an extra mask too? Mine is broken. Okay, my lovely students. So, Andy called. He wants you to pick him to um, uh, up at 8 a.m. His address is the 27 Park Drive. Go south on Main Street at the light stair right um, to 10th uh, uh, Avenue. Then turn left um, to the 2nd Street. It is the Blue House. Okay. Message it. The third message uh, uh, from... Uh, John called. He wants you to bring your brother's volleyball net tomorrow. The fourth message um, is, uh, as you can see here, uh, Charles called. He wants you to bring another pair of flippers and an extra mask tomorrow. Okay, my love, look what we have here. We have here, as you can see, writing... Uh, 
Hona, okay? Look, we have a three points. To be polite when you ask someone for a verb use please. So if you want to ask something, so if you want to be polite, okay, you can use please. Look here, could you please help me with the math homework this evening? So you ask for a viver, so please, uh, use the please to be polite. Number two, if you can't do a viver, you can politely apologize and explain why. If you can't do it, you can say, I am sorry, I can't do it. Because you then you will say the reason or you will explain. But I am busy tonight. How about tomorrow? Number three. When someone does you a favor, you should always thank him or her. So, you should always uh, thank people, okay? So, thank you so much for your help. Thanks for helping me. Okay.